Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. You're here with me in Cinema Sound Studio B. Uh, I, I may have made a couple of mistakes to be quite honest, about using the Waves vocal writer. And, and in the Cinema Sound Education, the 85-hour Cinema Sound Education that you get on the MZ Pro uh, by being an MZ Pro member, um, I talk about the vocal writer quite a bit and how it does a really good job separately from a compressor in kind of in a cool different way of balancing dialogue or anything else you run into it. But I just discovered something that, well, I'm kind of embarrassed. I should have known. and. Perhaps if I'd read the manual, I would have known about it. But what Vocal Writer really does is something that's so much more awesome than anything we talk about in Cinema Sound Education because of this new thing I just discovered. And I should have known. But now you'll know. Check it out. All right, we're in Adobe Audition in a really simple mix scenario. And what we want to do is create a razor's edge mix between our dialogue and this really strong music that we have going on here. But we're, you, you can use automation, you can use all kinds of tricks that we talk about, but let's use the Waves Audio Vocal Writer. And I've, like I said, in the past been uh, a little wrong about how this works, but here's something new that I want you all to know about and how amazing this little plugin is in a way that I didn't know. So this is the, the thing. We have the dialogue up here with the music down here. Let's go here now. And have a great movie. And men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it. Uh, I say it's very important, and I still feel like there's so much more that we can, um, we can actually explore with that. Um, with Harley Quinn, that was... There's a lot of work that needs to be done balancing the music with the dialogue. And you can do it both the dialogue and the music and balance them together. Or you could have the dialogue managed from one end only and have it boosted, companded, not just compressed, but also boosted when it got too soft. Let's see what happens here with, and if the vocal writer, this new way of using it, helps. So we're going to go, I'm going to bring in here the mix the mix window. Here's the master, and here is the and have a great dialogue, and here's the actual music bus. I've routed all the music to this bus. So we're going to actually put the vocal writer plugin on the dialogue bus. We're going to use VST3. We're going to go to effect, waves, scroll way down to waves, vocal writer, stereo. And here it is. We've talked about this before. This little fader actually uh, does a good job, but much more intelligent than a straight compressor because it'll actually boost those soft si signals, not just bring down the loud ones. And have a great movie. And men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it. Uh, I say it's very important, and I still feel like there's so much... It's doing a pretty good job of creating a good balance for her. Uh, in fact, we can change the sensitivity, make it a little move a little faster, and this little slider kind of helps us under helps uh, the vocal writer plug and understand where the general gist of the volume of the vocal is in this case. And have a great movie, and men and women... So as I bring it down lower, it does a lot more compression because it's going over this threshold, and as I bring it higher and have a great movie and men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it'll want to start pushing it so we'll keep it somewhere about here and have a great movie and men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it uh, i say it's very important and i still feel so this is cool and we have a vocal sensitivity how sensitive is it and have a great movie and men and women of all ages you can see it's really moving much more as opposed to less sensitive and have a great movie and men and women of all ages come and much less sensitive so we'll keep this a little more on the sensitive side but what's this music thing all about i used to think it was just to create different sensitivity for sustained parts but that isn't it at all this plugin will actually take the music bus or the music in general or any other channel and compare and contrast and real time, the dialogue or the vocals, I mean, this is generally for music, against the music and make different changes depending on what it sees. Well, how do we get the music to this plugin? Well, we do it through a process called key chaining or side, side chaining or keying. And in Adobe Audition, which is where we are, we're going to be using the side chain feature, which may not be apparent to, if you've never done this before, it may not be apparent to you. And you can, you can see if your plugin is side chain aware when, if you look up here, you see this cool little thing that's here. That little, you know, the robot looking dude thing, that's actually an indicator that your plugin is side chain aware and that Audition is able to use it that way. So we're going to click on it. 
and say, let's do a stereo side chain. And then it goes yellow, saying that it is activated audition to knowing that this side, that this plugin is now going to receive a side chain. Well, what we want to do is send the music to this plugin so that it can interpret and do what it wants to do to the dialogue. So I'm going to go over here to the music bus and on the send right here, I'm going to select side chain. And there it is, magically, the vocal writer stereo. Let me just go here. Actually, I have to zoom out to do that, I guess. There we go. And now we have unity gain and mono going to the vocal writer. If we double click on it. So now you can see here on the little cool icon thing, we have a little green light, which means that not only is audition aware, but it's going to get signal from somewhere. And in this case, it'll be from the music bus. So now when we turn this on, and have a great movie. And Notice all of a sudden the music bus, or the, the music knob goes from gray to in color, back to unity. And this little green light tells us how much music, how much sound is this little, sens this little uh, sensor getting. And have a great movie. And men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it. Uh, I say it's very important, and I still feel like there's so much more. And as we turn up its sensitivity, you can see that that green light gets brighter and brighter as it becomes more sensitive. So let's check out what happens now that we've turned the music onto a bus that it can see. And have a great movie, and men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it. Uh, I say it's very important, and I still feel like there's so much more that we can, um, we can actually explore with that. Um, with Harley Quinn, that was also a lead. That much, much better, much smarter. As the music is moving and the dialogue is moving, it's actually doing a really smart job of, uh, you know, kind of balancing both together. And we can control her overall volume by messing with this output gain. We can also change the range of how far it's willing to go, this fader. And have a great movie. And men and women of all ages come and watch and enjoy it. Uh, I say it's very important, and I still feel like there's so much more that we can um, we can actually explore with that. So let's let's see if the, we can find a problem area. People really liked, but she was not a, she was not a. Yeah, right about here or so. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, I feel like there needs to be there needs to be maybe. They so there's that symbol scrape on top of her saying, there needs to be. Well, if I turn off the sensitivity to the music so it doesn't listen to the music anymore, hear what it sounds like. Um, I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be maybe. In fact, if we bring this vocal sensitivity back to unity or so. Um, I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be maybe. Her S sort of gets lost, there needs to be. But if we turn up the music sensitivity full, um, I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be maybe. It helps her S a little bit. Once again, with it off. Um, I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be maybe. It gets lost with it on. Um, I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be maybe. They talked about another film of Harley. You really get it. It's just subtle, but it keeps it on that razor's edge of lots of powerful music and her dialogue sounding great. Let's find another problem area and see how we do here. This is a nice loud bit here. Too real scenario in life. Like, we find someone, a man or a woman, we can find someone and lose ourselves. So that symbol roll is also very pr problematic. It's right on top of That's her siblings. That's an all too real scenario in life. Like, we find... And in fact, it's loud enough where we might want to boost it just a little bit here. That's an all too real scenario in life. But if we turn music off? That's an all too real scenario in life. We lose her with it on? That's an all too real scenario. But we can understand it with that music sensitivity on. And let's see what happens if we turn the vocal uh, sensitivity up full too. That's an all too real scenario. And then let's turn it off. That's an all too real scenario in life. Like kind of ease, evens that out a little bit nicer. So this is what's this is what's possible with Vocal Rider when you do uh, <laughs> use it correctly. Let's try it with a full mix with everything. Okay, now I have it across a larger mix. I'm just going to turn this off for a second. I'm going to show you the routing in a moment. But here's the scene. Mandy, Mandy. Back up wood. No one sticks their first carrier landing. If you trust me. Trust me. I disappoint you? I let you make me captain, didn't I? Sir, proton spike at 304015. But what if I really want to get that razor edge? I want the dialogue to really be near where that music is without having to do a whole lot more mixing. That This is where Vocal Rider comes in. Let me show you what I've had to do 
here. I've got, these are actually stems that I've used, but if you take all of the dialogue, uh, have it mixed onto a bus, you're going to add your vocal writer plug in on that bus. Then what you're going to take is all of the other buses, route them, in other words, the dial, uh, the sound effects, the foley, the ambiences, and of course the music. You're going to write route all of them via sends to a no dialogue bus. In other words, that's what I've got down here. A bus where, excuse me, a bus where there is no dialogue here at all, just everything else. Basically an MNE bus, which you probably should do anyway since you're gonna have to deliver it that way. From here, I send it to Vocal Rider, just like we showed you before, the side chain. I'm gonna turn it up actually kind of strong so that now when it shows up here, it's going to be, that's gonna be a very, very bright green. Fuck up. Maybe if I turn the plug in on, it will help. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier land. So right now I've got the music sensitivity off, but listen to the difference um, with the music sensitivity off. I'm really trying to find that razor edge of just enough to hear the dialogue with the music in a good place, like we would do in a music recording with the singer. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier landing. If you trust me, trust me. I disappoint you. I let you make me captain, didn't I? Now you can totally understand everything that she's saying and he's saying, but it's much less loud. Remember where it was before. I'm going to turn it off. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier land. It's a lot louder and it's fine. You can certainly understand it, but the music and the sound effects are sort of taking a hit. But let's turn this on and let's turn the music sensitivity up full now. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier landing. Just listen to the carrier landing. I'm going to turn the music down. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier landing. And then with it on full sensitivity of music. Fuck up wood. No one sticks the first carrier landing. If you trust me, trust me. I disappoint you. I let you make me captain, didn't I? So and there's another great example. I let you make me captain, didn't I? Let's see, where is we at here? I'll see you soon. Nope. Where are we? I lost my place. Didn't I? There Sir, we go. proton spike at 304015. Just way zoomed out. Here we go. Trust me. I disappoint you. I let you make me captain, didn't I? And look how it's pushing the volume up. A compressor doesn't do that. It only brings things down. Let's turn the music sensitivity off. Trust me. I disappoint you. I let you make me captain, didn't I? Sir. Notice how it doesn't push it that far with the music sensitivity off, but with it on. Trust me. I disappoint you. I let you make me captain, didn't I? It really helps it and it gets smart about what it's doing with regards to balancing the dialogue with the whole mix, not just the music, but we got sound effects and all kinds of other things in there. So you can use this to really create some amazing results and run the razor's edge of great immersion with your storytelling and dialogue, right? Waves, audio, voodoo. And you can, it's, what's so amazing about it is it's not just, you know, oh, dialogue to music or lead vocals to music like, it, like it's supposed, like it's what it was originally designed for. But you can use sound effects, foley and ambience, all these things. And, and you could even use it for music and, and anything else. It's so awesome. Now, if you've been using Vocal Rider correctly and you just want to come and go, duh, Lewis, on the forum at Cinema Sound, Go right ahead, I deserve it, but at least now we have it right, we have it set, and you can use it for yourself. Uh, until then, read some manuals, I know I will, and we'll see you in post.